Hey guys, it's the Consistent Queen back again with another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we're going to be talking all things raking with brands, child. This video is actually a very highly requested video. I've had a lot of people asking me via DMs on stuff that I wish I knew before I started being a content creator, how to work with brands, how to like grow as a content creator and whatnot so i'm going to be sharing all of that today and please note the stuff that i'm going to be sharing is what has worked for me so i do hope that somebody out there finds it helpful now without further ado let's get into the video i am going to be looking at my phone because i actually typed stuff out because i really did not want to forget anything and please note that what i am going to be saying today i'm going to provide it as like a transcript in the description box but this is just a very like summarized version so if you want to get all the juice all the tea all the sauce make sure that you watch this entire video and please don't forget to comment if you found it helpful and share any tips for other content creators or aspiring content creators and please don't forget to subscribe you know turn on that notification bell or whatever and do let me know in the community tab which video you'd like for me to do next so the first one that i wanted to say is just start like guys this is actually like it sounds dumb but i noticed that a lot of the time people are scared of just starting and most of your fears are rooted in just starting so like literally just start that don't have the fear of oh what if people don't like my content oh what if i don't like doing this anymore oh blah 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 i'm gonna start when i have this i'm gonna start when i have that i'm gonna start in august i'm gonna start when it's hard like people make the wildest excuses so if you're one of those people that make excuses for not starting i'm calling you out like this is me calling you out like i am tired of your shit. start okay for my sake literally just start start with what you have start scared and also like it's so important like don't worry about people not following you like literally once you've started once you're like getting a hang of things the people will come like all of us started with zero subscribers at some point like literally i even have a video where i was celebrating 100 subscribers like guys we all start with nothing we all start not even without people knowing us like the only people that know us are the people that we've met but we all start somewhere so don't be scared to start don't be scared to put yourself out there and don't be scared to try something out that you've always wanted to try out like don't have that syndrome of like what are people gonna say also because that's not gonna help you child like if you're gonna live a life where you're worried about what people are gonna say you're gonna live a life that's not fulfilling so just start might as what people are gonna say if you happen to come from a small town where people will be like oh my gosh that's so weird or where they won't understand what you're trying to do where they don't see your vision just start like they'll catch on eventually that's how it always is like trust me they'll catch on eventually and this brings me to my second point which is start with whatever you have like you literally don't need fancy equipment to start a youtube channel you don't need fancy equipment to create content to start working with brands like literally start with what you have you don't need those fancy backgrounds you don't need all of those things like literally you can just use your phone and then for lighting if you're not yet ready to like invest in lighting like literally just film your stuff in front of a window take your pictures outside during the best times to take pictures like you really don't you don't need to be doing too much like guys content creation is pricey eventually but in the beginning it's really not it's really not but then when i say it's pricey like eventually that's like after you've like backed the campaign so it's like it's basically it's like work when you want to go to work you need to buy petrol you need to buy work clothes blah 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 it's basically like that so like with content creation you're gonna reach a point where like you are gonna be getting paid for it so like it's not too bad but yeah like where you need to maybe 
buy clothes for a specific video that you want to shoot or you want to shoot at a specific location then you can go there to that location but this is stuff for like much much later on so if you're still thinking of starting or if you're not even sure where to start which is why i'm like shooting this video literally guys just start with whatever you have make do with the resources that you have and then as you eventually get the hang of it i would say that um personally the first thing that i would invest in or that i would recommend other people to invest in which is also what i invested in i invested in a tripod like a tripod that would be able to hold my phone and my camera even though at that time i did not have a camera but i was just like okay no i want something that like can hold a phone and a camera because before then i was just like stacking books i was stacking stuff to like hold my phone when i was recording videos for insta sorry not for instagram for youtube but then i realized that okay with instagram pictures i can't really take my own pictures because there's not always a place where i can like mount my phone so that's what i'm saying i would definitely start with a tripod i would also invest in a bluetooth remote bluetooth remotes are not pricey at all i think they're about like around 70 rand but i do stand to be corrected but then those are the two things that i would start with because that's stuff that you can use for your youtube channel you can use that for instagram like to start and stop your videos to like mount the device that you're using to shoot your content and then when you feel like okay you're really sure that this is something you want to do if you want to start a youtube channel and you want to work with brands via youtube then i would recommend investing in a camera but that's like not like for your first video like for your first video you really don't need a camera and all of those things but i'm saying like eventually once you're getting the hang of it because at the end of the day it really is important to create quality content guys and this brings me to my third point which is always strive to create the best content that you can create so if you see that your background like you could maybe switch it up to look a little bit cuter then do that or if you see that your lighting is a little bit then film when the lighting is better or do something to make the lighting better don't just be like mm, ah, people will watch anyways yeah cool people are gonna watch anyways but people are more likely to come back and to be returning subscribers or to follow you on instagram when they see that okay this person is always pushing quality content like when they put out a video i can actually hear what they're saying their pictures are not blurry unless you specifically put grain your pictures should not be blurry babes like you must make sure that your content is the best quality that you can create at that time it shouldn't be a thing where like maybe three years down the line you're gonna look at your video and be like oh my gosh that was so horrible you couldn't even hear me the lighting was so bad blah 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 if there was nothing you could do about it at that time that's fine but if at that time you were just recording of Ugh, people are gonna watch anyways no like always create the best content that you can create because my motto is with everything that i put out i want to like still be proud of it like three years down the line like i don't want to have to archive my first youtube video because i feel like oh my gosh everything just sucked like yeah i have obviously improved because at the time i didn't have a ring light i didn't have a camera i was just trying my best but the only thing that makes me mm, is because you know i was young and i feel like it was cringe but apart from that i'm proud of what i had created at the time because i made the best of what i had and yeah guys like i feel like when you're starting make the best of what you have and make sure that you're producing something that you're going to be proud of and something that will also be appealing to these brands that you want to work with and also remember that um what i was saying about the quality like if you want these brands to notice you you can't be there now your pictures are not even clear like if you want to be a fashion content creator now i can't even see your outfits properly the way that you're posing is hiding the outfits or like you're not showing me up close you're not like no like you need to you need to make yourself appealing not only to your viewers but also to these brands that you want to attract so to edit your pictures you could use visco personally that's what i use and it's something that i think is like super cool guys <laughs> like it's so cool plus like you don't have to pay for it and like 
I like that about the school. Like you don't have to pay. <laughs> Cause child, I mean, even if you can, it's nice to just like use free things. You know what I'm saying? So for pictures, I would recommend the school. And then for videos, so be it videos for Instagram, like reels or normal videos or YouTube videos or whatever, you could use iMovie. Um, that's if you have an iOS device. I'm not sure about like other apps because um, when I started I was just using iMovie and then I invested in Final Cut Pro Which in hindsight I don't know why I did that so early on because it was like after a year of me having my YouTube channel I had asked um, my dad to get me Final Cut Pro because it was like a little bit on the pricey end it's 5,000 Rand but then that's like once off so you don't have to keep on paying a monthly subscription or anything like that so that was also pretty cool but you don't need to go get Final Cut Pro and pay 5,000 Rand if you're still starting out like if you're in the position to and it's an app that you'd really like to have then yeah sure but don't feel the pressure of now you need to have this app now you need to be doing this no like literally this goal for pictures i movie for videos then you're very much good to go child you're very much good to go your next step once you have started and once you are you know figuring things out figuring yourself out would be to figure out what you want your niche to be so a niche is what your content is about like are you a travel content creator are you a fashion content creator are you a self-care content creator you can be somebody who's in different niches but then once you've established those niches you need to like preferably stick to your niche so in the beginning you can still like figure yourself out you do a little bit of hair you do some wig reviews you do some travel you know you're just having fun with it but there will come a time where you need to be like okay i enjoy creating this sort of content more than the other ones so that's what i want my niche to be and stick to those niches because you can have up to like three niches but it helps you to not be all over the place like where there'll come a time where people won't even know what to expect from you because you're just talking about everything and the thing is a jack of all trades is a master of none so try to be a master of your niches you get what i'm saying also having a niche will help you shoot your shot at brands because you can approach the brands and be like hey i'm a fashion content creator and thing is with brands they're more likely to work with people who have that that brand within their niche versus somebody who doesn't have that brand within their niche so what i mean is that like a fashion brand is more likely to work with a fashion content creator than they are to work with like a car enthusiast unless that car enthusiast is also a fashion enthusiast and that is because once you've established your niche people your niche or your niches people will know that okay this person speaks about these things this person is knowledgeable on these things this person when they speak i'm more likely to listen like if i know that okay this person is always talking about fashion like they know their story when it comes to fashion if they're gonna tell me something about fashion best believe child, i'm gonna listen like i'm gonna listen okay because what you're saying is probably from a place of knowledge so your followers are more likely to react better to those brands that you're working with if it's brands within your niche and this brings me to my next point which is when you want to work with brands, you should strive to work with brands that you already use, that preferably brands that you already use. So yeah, like over time, you could like maybe work with brands that you haven't used as of yet, but that you have tried. And what I mean by that is that, um, let's say a person has never been to a specific clothing store or they haven't heard of that clothing store but they are a clothing content creator and they've spoken about other brands but not that specific brand so in that place in time it's okay to like go to that specific brand see what they had even though it's not, it was not familiar to you but if you see that okay no actually it was not familiar to me back then but it's familiar to me now and i actually really like it now 
then it's something that you can promote because you don't want to be promoting stuff that you don't know anything about something that you haven't even tasted you haven't even worn you haven't even seen yeah like now let's say a brand gives you a drink to promote and you haven't even tasted that drink but you're coming on instagram and telling us that it tastes good no don't be a liar don't lie to us and also when you finally get to the point where you are ready to work with brands you know you're ready to work with brands when like you have the momentum like your followers are growing you're putting out the content because like you can't really say you're ready to work with brands if you have no pictures but once you have like Uma, a few pictures nyana, the engagement is going you know you have a good thing going you have that momentum then i would say you are ready to work with brands then child you better shoot your shots hey like shoot your shots and don't be scared of rejection like literally the fields that you want to work in or if you're already a content creator the fields that you are working in is one way that you're, you're already putting yourself out there like there's going to be people that don't like you for no reason like they just don't like you and that's okay because not everybody in the world is going to like you like maybe there's something about you that they just don't and that's okay you should just focus on the people that actually do like you so with maybe getting rejected from brands that like don't be scared to get rejected because it's just it's a part of the way that things are i mean personally i've gotten rejected so many times but i never let that rejection make me feel discouraged more than anything that rejection just made me want to go harder like guys when i say that like but then my first year when i wanted to like be a content creator and whatnot i loved sissy boy i still love sissy boy so so much guys but at the time like the only thing that i wore was sissy boy like literally guys i was a strong advocate for sissy boy i was always posting them doing all of those things and then i reached out to them and they mised me <laughs> they mised me but now like three years later I work with them regularly like almost every campaign like they, they they come to me now so don't let me that oh don't let rejection make you feel bad because sometimes that rejection just means that you need to work harder you need to be you need to be persistent guys like in life you must have you must you must have ingani ne? and you must have liver like I don't know what person liver whatever the liver is child this is coming from somebody who did bio but yeah you must have a liver you must you must be steadfast you must have grit you must be bold guys like be bold shoot your shot at those brands dm them if their email address is available email them tag them in your post so that they notice you child because how else are they going to notice you if you're not tagging them so on instagram when you post whether you're posting something for youtube right what you should ideally be doing is um multi social media sharing so like if you're gonna post something on youtube right you should also tell us that you posted it via instagram via twitter via tiktok like tell people that hey guys i posted a youtube video and then take that opportunity to also tag the brands and let them know that on youtube i posted a video about you guys or if you're posting a picture for instagram make sure that you're tagging the brand so that they can see because maybe you're that missing piece that we're looking for like maybe they were looking for somebody who looks like you to work with them and here you are showing yourself so that will really help you out a lot and when you shoot your shot at these brands please make sure that you have a media kit and a rates card so a media kit basically includes what you're about what your niches are your analytics and yeah like basically that and also if you have any brand experience you can put it in your media kit so people can see that oh okay this person has worked with this brand this person has some experience you know what i'm saying and also with your rate card it's kind of like self-explanatory your rate card is a card that shows what you charge for each post on every specific platform so like how much you charge for an instagram story how much you charge for an instagram post how much you charge for a youtube video how much you charge for a youtube mention like literally all of that and those things are like very important 
because number one people need your media kits like when they want to work with you and once they figure that okay yeah we want to work with you for sure they're going to need your rate card to know how much the campaign is going to be like what the budget should be and while you're busy shooting your shot at these brands i would suggest downloading humans which is this other platform where you can like where like they put campaigns out there and then you can bid for the campaign and also interhash i've downloaded interhash like a while ago i haven't gotten any campaigns on there personally but i know of some people that have gotten campaigns on there and apparently it's very convenient i can only speak for sure for humans because i used to use humans but i don't like personally i don't really use it that much anymore because i've just found that the prices for the campaigns don't always match how much i would be charging for the campaign and i feel like i'm at the point where if the campaign doesn't make financial sense to me i'm not gonna take it like i'm not gonna be posting 10 instagram stories for an amount that doesn't make sense you know what i'm saying because like in as much as you may want to work with a brand in as much as you may want to be on a campaign you need to know your worth because the thing is with working with brands if you don't know your worth i don't know i feel like they talk like they talk amongst themselves like these campaign managers then they're gonna be like no this one um we underpaid her and she took the work and she even did blah 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 like people talk like these agencies talk so you don't want to create a history of like you downplaying how much they should pay you in the same breath but i feel like starting out humans is like really good to help you find your feet really good to help you land those campaigns for those brands to know of you because like on humans i feel like it's easier to get a campaign on humans than it is via like you just emailing them so do with that information what you will i am going to be putting the links to those apps in the description box so also do check it out and again guys another point that i just want to reiterate like don't be scared to shoot your shots hey like shoot your shot at those brands tag them dm them email them make them notice you child like literally and always remember to be bold like nobody like when you go to these brands you must talk your shit hey like you must say that i am bringing this and this and this and this to the table i'm gonna do this and this and this here are my analytics they talk for themselves you know you must talk your shit hey like know your story know you are a big story be confident don't downplay yourself if you feel like this campaign does not make financial sense to you then don't take it like don't take it in the meantime while you're still finding campaigns that make sense to you make sure you're just using that time to improve yourself and improve your content the quality of your content and don't forget to just put yourself out there so on that note i'm going to close the video off here i hope that you enjoyed watching i hope that it was helpful to you if you're one of those people that were requesting it i really do hope that it was helpful until next time this is it from me the consistent queen